But let's uh, move on for you now and head to uh, Chile, where the centre-right ruling coalition has suffered something of a shock loss after failing to secure a third of seats in the body that will be drafting the country's new constitution. With 90 per cent of the votes now counted, candidates backed by the president, Sebastian Pinera, had only picked up a fifth of the votes. Meanwhile, candidates uh, that are independent have done pretty well indeed. Let's talk more about that with our regional correspondent, Thomas Nicolon. He joins me now. Thomas, um, this is a pretty massive defeat for the ruling coalition, isn't it? The center-right ruling coalition was convinced that they would get at least one-third of the vote, but they got one-fifth. And independents picked up most uh, of the votes. It's a massive defeat uh, for the center-right ruling coalition and for the president, Sebastian uh, Piñera. Uh, so uh, Chileans uh, were voting in the last 48 hours uh, to uh, pick to elect 155 citizens uh, who will be in charge of drafting a new uh, constitution. It all started back in October 2019 with fierce protests all across Chile over inequality and elitism. Uh, well, it is important to note that the current constitution in Chile was drafted uh, under the dictator uh, Pinochet, who was in power from 1973 to 1990. And this constitution is still seen as favoring big business over the rights of ordinary uh, citizens. Uh, so uh, uh, something important as well is that 17 uh, of these uh, seats uh, for uh, drafting the new constitution were reserved to Chile's indigenous uh, communities. And uh, it is the first constitutional body in the world uh, to have roughly 50 percent men and 50 percent women. Now, the president, uh, Sebastián Piñera, said that the results uh, of this vote clearly mean that uh, he hasn't responded to the needs of uh, the Chilean people. But he also cautioned that extreme changes uh, to uh, the constitution might destabilize uh, uh, the country, which is one of the wealthiest in Latin America and one of the most uh, stable countries in the region uh, as well. So this new constitutional uh, body uh, will be in charge of drafting the new constitution, make it uh, more... Uh, um, uh, a, a constitution that includes uh, all people of uh, uh, Chile and they have 12 months to draft this new constitution and then the new constitution, the draft, will be uh, put up to a vote again and uh, if it is rejected uh, by the Chilean people, uh, Chile will revert back to the current uh, constitution uh, and uh, the general election uh, are uh, due to be held uh, next November, including the presidential election in Chile and uh, clearly things are not looking too good for the center-right ruling coalition. All right, we will see what happens. Uh, Thomas Nicolon for us there uh, in Peru. Thank you very much indeed for your reporting there on the situation in Chile.